Well, how do you do, everybody? Welcome to Baseball Action as the Loyola Ramblers take on the DePaul Prep Rams in Baseball Action. Beautiful afternoon for baseball. A little bit on the chilly side, but not terrible. Jack Yellowitz on the mound for the Ramblers. There's a strike, strike one to Michael Rodriguez letting it off. Top of the first inning. And it puts low and inside a ball. Out of count, he was up at one and one. They lock and load. And fall ball off the to the right. And low and away a ball. Connie was up at Deuces, I believe. And strike three. One away. DePaul College Prep, uh, now associated with DePaul University, used to be the old Lane Tech. Uh, Lane Tech? No, Gordon Tech. By Lane Tech. I was in the right neighborhood, just across the North Shore Channel from each other. The campus is at uh, Addison and California. And a button fall. I believe I, this is Gary Anish. And I believe I know his father. Father played for Gordon Tech. Was a solid, uh, if it's who I think it was. Big time football player. For Gordon Tech. Swing and a miss. And strike three. Two away. Here's Drew Thomas. And strike, strike one. Number three in the batting order for the Rams. Pitches is low and inside the ball. And the lock and load. A strike on the outside corner. The left-hander delivers. And strike three. Struck out the side. Three up, three down. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left. Go to the bottom half for the first inning. And no score in this one. And Tom Smart leads it off. And takes a ball. Ball one. Smart Alex Thomas and Jack Yellowitz. Do up here in the bottom of the first. A little over that pitch. Bounced it back foul. Swing and a bit. Strike. Join us here on the network. In our... 28th year now doing these broadcasts. There's a fly ball. Back it goes and up against the fence. Smart on his way to third and he'll make it with the triple. A leadoff triple. And here's Alex Thomas. And he fouls one off. A windshield whacker back behind us.
in the dirt low ball. Well, we just scheduling wise and other issues. We haven't gotten to our Highland Park broadcast yet. We'll get to that next uh, next week in real time. That's a single by Thomas. RBI single brings home the run. And it's one nothing. So Alex Thomas aboard, and here's Jack Yellowitz. Fall back. Thomas with the lead off first. And a pitch low ball. Throw the first runner back. Goes to bunt. Bunts a foul. And the delivery. That's low ball. And Thomas was already off to second, so he makes it with the stolen base. And fouled out of play. And a fly ball down the line, deep, but fall. Paul Cushing on deck. Nobody out. Ramblers already on the board. And a line shot that's going to be a base hit to left. And they will send Thomas home with the single. And it is 2 nothing. Mike McCormack, the... Courtesy runner for Yellowitz. Here's Paul Cushing. Draw to first. And again, the runner back. Again, the throw over there, and again, the runner back. And a ball, that side. I think it's 3-0. There goes the runner. Got him. Uh, caught stealing. Is McCormack. And inside the ball. Whatever the count. <laughs> I lost track of the count. What can I say? And fall back. I think maybe the count's full here. Time called. As Cushing steps out. Nobody on. One out. Two runs in. And again, fouled off. Cushing hanging in there. Jacob Freight. Frank on deck. 
Yeah, ball four. So, Cushion the board, and here's Jacob Frank. Draw the first, runner back. Into the wind, the pitch. Outside a ball. And that one's high ball. Got a one high and outside the ball. Throw to first. And back in plenty of time is Cushion. And fall back to the screen. And pitch high a ball. This year our schedule's kind of strange. Got a couple of weekends, whole weekends off. Strange. Usually I don't get that. Ball four and two aboard. It's just been one of those years this year all the way around. Uh, scheduling is. I mean, it's still the same number of games and stuff. It's just kind of weird how we've how the schedule works out. They lock and load outside and up high a ball to Liam McKeo as uh, Jacob Frank also drew a walk. We're going to be um, something of a road trip this year. Uh, going to try and get that um, game down in uh, Kankakee with Bishop McNamara and Loyola. Ball four, and that loads up the bases. One out. Here's Brendan Egan. And strike on the inside corner. Brendan Egan, the batter. And he fouls one off. Kind of a long first inning here. And a ball. Kind of typical early season start to a ball game. Pitchers trying to find themselves in a sense, high and outside a ball. And that one's high a ball. And another one fall off. Three and two to count. And strike three. Caught him on the outside corner. So two away. And the bases remain loaded. Here's Neil Udelhoven. Eighth man to bat in the inning. So Udelhoff and bats and takes a strike on the inside corner. (laughs) 
Runners with their lead. And a pitch low ball. And high for a ball. I think the count's blackjack. 21. The lock and load. In there for a strike. Three, I guess it's full now, three and two. Swing on a bit, strike three, and we're done with the first inning. At the end of one, it's Loyola two, and DePaul nothing. We'll be back with more. Metro Chicago Sports Network. Like us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook. You can uh, also like us on Facebook and uh, be updated on whenever we update our website. That's the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Parents who host lose the most. Don't be a party to teenage drinking. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the second inning. Grayson uh, Sanchez leads it off and takes a strike. <laughs> Fouled off. Sanchez, Tyler Sweat, and William Herbert. Middle of the batting order. Do up here for the DePaul Rams. Facing Jack Yellowitz. And strike three. One away. Here's Tyler Sweat. Top of the second. Yellowitz delivers inside corner for a strike. The lefty into the windup, the pitch in the dirt low ball. One and one. Everybody playing normal depth. Tried to hold up on that one. Knew he was going to miss it. Strike anyway. And strike three. Two away. Here's William Herbert. And that pitch is inside for a ball. Yeah, and lower away ball. All right, Yellowitz has struck out the first five he's faced. In there for a strike at the knees, inside corner. And strike two. And ball four. So the walk issued to Herbert. And here is Nuyen Garcia. 
Nguyen Garcia, the batter. And there for a strike. They pitch. Fouled up. And it's working a bit. Strike three. And we go to the bottom half of the second. It is 2 0 in favor of Loyola. Here's Jack Lombardi. He was the only one that didn't bat last inning. And first pitch, a little ground ball. Second to first. One up, one down. Here's Tom Smart. He tripled to right center field his first time up. And takes a pitch on the outside corner for a strike. Rambler's shortstop. And a base hit to center. Despite the effort of the center fielder on that line shot. Here's Alex Thomas. He singled and scored last time up. And the ball, ball one. (laughs) And that's high. There goes the runner. They got him caught stealing. So two out. And a strike. To Alex Thomas. And the pitch high a ball. And ball four. So Thomas aboard via the walk. And here's Jack Yalowitz. He singled his last time up. And he's got a single to right this time. On the way to third. And making it is Alex Thomas. So runners at the corners with two out. And Paul Cushing the batter. Mike McCormick on again as the courtesy runner. And a high pop-up foul. Third baseman has room. Backs up and takes it for the out. And we're done with the second. At the end of two, it's 2-0. Loyola leading DePaul. We'll be back with more. The Metro Chicago Sports Network on cable and on the internet at YouTube. Drive at dusk, dawn, or night. Make sure you turn on your lights. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the third inning. And the Ramblers with the lead. It's a ball, ball one. Julian Gonzalez, the batter. And a pitch low ball. Gonzalez, Straley, and back to the top of the bat. Batting order, Michael Rodriguez. Due up for the Rams of DePaul. Here's a strike on the outside corner. 
The lock and the load, and that's a strike on the outside corner. Yellowitz delivers, straight three. Well, that's 10 struck out by Yellowitz here. And a strike. Yellowitz already committed baseball, Division One. And he did offer strike. This is Austin Straley. And bounces in, 55 footer. And strike three. So, two away. And Michael Rodriguez, little ground ball, pick up by Yellowitz over the first set, a quick one, two, three. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left. Go to the bottom half of the third. And the Loyola Ramblers leading this one by the score of two to nothing over the DePaul Academy Rams. Here's Jacob Frank to lead it off. And a line shot, that's gonna be a base hit. Single left. And on the error. Out in left field. Frank to second. Here's Liam McKeel. And he falls one back. And a strike. And the outside corner. Outside of all. Frank with his lead off second. And the pitch low ball. We're up on the hill. And went fishing Skokie Lagoon. Strike three. And one away. Here's Brendan Egan. And a pitch low ball. <laughs> Julian Gonzalez on the bound for the Rams. And a pitch inside the ball. The lock and load, and a ground ball through the left side for the base hit, going opposite field, and runners at the corners. A single for Egan. And here's Neil Udelhofen. Shows bunt, takes a pitch up in the eyes. Ball, ball one. Runner first, runner back. Just kind of let him know they're there. Again, they're going to throw over there. In this situation, I'm sure everybody's second in terms of a potential double steal, or at least a steal of second with that runner at third. 
There's a strike. Runners at the corners. Throw to third. And runner back. There's a bunt, and it is a beauty. Everyone's going to be safe. A little bunt single by Udelhoff. And another run in. Here's Jack Lombardi. And a ball, ball one. Outfield playing pretty much straight away. Shaded slightly to right. There's a ground ball, slow roller. And pick up not in time. And everybody's safe. And Jack Lombardi beats out an infield single. And the bases are loaded. And here is Tom Smart. Two for two on the day. Batting here in the third. There's a strike. Yeah, strike on the inside corner. Bottom of the third. Metro Chicago Sports Network baseball coverage. And a pitch high of the wall. A little outside, too. Now the lock and low. 55 footer bounces in. And ground ball, shortstop down, has it over to second out. On the first night in time, got away, and another run going to come home. So Smart, the only base runner left out there. And another two runs in here. And here's Alex Thomas. And Thomas with the blast down the left field line. That's going to bounce to the fence. And they're going to send Smart home all the way from first. And in the second with the double is Alex Thomas. And that makes four in the inning. And Jack Yellowitz with a base hit. Here comes the runner home. And not in time. On the bang-bang play at the plate. So Thomas scores the fifth run of the inning. And here is Paul Cushing. And it is now 7-0 in favor of the Ramblers. And through for the base hit. Past the third baseman. Again, Cushing going, uh, this time Cushing going opposite way. So, but two out, two on. And tenth man the bat, Jacob Frank, second time in the inning. Takes a pitch outside the ball. Now, it's been a slow one up till now. Line shot right at the third baseman. And we're done with three. It's Loyola, seven. And DePaul, nothing. And we'll be back with more. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Drive now. Text later. Stop the text. Stop the wrecks. A message in the public interest. 
from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the third inning, and Lyle O'Well in command of this one, seven to nothing, over the DePaul Prep Academy. Little one-three put out. Gary Anish, and here's Drew Thomas. And a dying quail, not going to get to it. Triangle shot to right center. And Drew Thomas aboard via the single. Here's Grayson Sanchez. Throw the first. Runner back. Foul ball back. And a ground ball. Third baseman over to first in time. And over to second. Goes Thomas. And here's Tyler Sweat. And in the dirt of ball. The first hit of the ball game for DePaul here in the fourth inning. Runner stays put as the ball got away a little bit from Brendan Egan. They look back. Now the pitch. Outside of ball. And gets away. This time far enough so Drew Thomas can move along to third. Back up the middle base hit single. And that brings home a run. And it's now 7 1. Here's William Herbert. And Jose Rodriguez, the courtesy runner. Over at first. So Herbert bats, fouls one off, back to the screen. Yalowitz looks over, delivers. That's high, gets away, and over to second goes Rodriguez. Another one fouled off, this one off to the left. And the pitch low ball. Yellowitz looks back a couple of times. And strike three, and we're done with the top of the fourth. Halfway home with this one. And the Loyola Ramblers leading this 7-1. to And Liam McKeough. Leading it off for the Ramblers here. And takes a strike. (laughs) 
Set to the outside. And strike three. One away. And Brendan Egan, the batter. And takes a pitch high of all. Fourth inning. And a pitch high of all. Giving up that left field foul line. Expecting Egan to clearly hit it to his strength to the right side. Even have the third baseman playing off the line. Foul back. And ball four. So Egan aboard. And Neil Udelhoven, the batter. Got a first. Runner back. And there goes the runner, and they got him. On the tag. And so we got a miss. And strike three. And we're doubling the fourth. It's 7-1 in favor of Loyola over DePaul. We'll be back. Selected games, YouTube on demand from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Don't be a party to teenage drinking. Parents who host lose the most. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Bottom third of the batting order. Do up for DePaul here in the top of the fifth inning. Ian Garcia leading it off. A little comebacker. One up, one down. Here's Julian Gonzalez. Foul ball off to the right. And a ball. And fall away. Ground ball. Pick up. Long throw in time. On the bang bang play. Two away. Here's Austin Straley. And he takes a pitch low and outside the ball. Yeah, strike. Well, be sure to join us here on the network all during the spring and summer. Got a lot of baseball. Yet to go. Fall ball. Yeah, come out and watch these games. A lot of fun. And in the dirt, low ball. Yalowitz uh, strikes out another one. And we've gone through f four and a half. And the Ramblers 
Leading this one seven to one. Jack Lombardi leading it off. Yeah, strike on the inside corner. And I'm backing away from that. New pitcher on the mound. Ball ball. And low a ball. Straight, straight. One up, one down. Here's Tom Smart. Smart's been on base all three times, twice by hits, once on a fielder's choice. Joe Bunt, the pitch is low and outside the ball. And through for the base hit to right. So smart, the leadoff man doing his job getting on base. So out of first, runner back. Alex Thomas, the batter. And he's been on base all three times also, twice via hits and scored two runs and once via walk. Also stole a base. Windshield Wacker back behind us. Yeah, low ball. And again, throw to first. On our back. And a little high and it looked like it might have been a little outside as well. Loyola Ramblers and the DePaul Rams. And strike three. Caught him on the outside corner. Two away. And Jack Yellowitz, the batter. Yellowitz, three for three. Single, but the story hasn't been his batting so much as it's been his pitching. Outstanding work today. He's only given up two hits. High pop up. Shallow, well, not as shallow as I thought it was. Left fielder he has it for the out, though. And the inning. And we go to the sixth. Ramblers leading this one 7 to 1. We'll be back with more. Current games lists and the great games of the past on the Metro Chicago Sports Network.com. That's also where you can link to watching games. That's the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Buckle up, Illinois. It's the law. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the sixth. Here on the hill. Top of the sixth inning. Got a ball low and outside. 
Michael Rodriguez letting it off. Facing Jack Yalowitz, gone the distance. In there for a strike on the outside corner. Gary Anish on deck. And fouled off. And low in the dirt, a ball. Throw over to first, they got him. So, drop third strike, but strikeout credited it, credited it, 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 it to <laughs> Jack Yalowitz. Gary Anish, the batter. Swing and a miss, strike. Low and outside, a ball. Yeah, strike three. Come looking on the outside corner. Two up, two down. Here's Drew. Thomas has one of the two hits given up today by Yellowitz. Number three in the batting order. Takes a strike. Strike two. Yeah, a little comebacker. Yellowitz over to first. And a quick one, two, three. No run, so it's no airs, nobody left. Go to the bottom half of the sixth. And uh, Paul Cushing will lead it off for the Ramblers. And a ball, ball one. Cushing bunts. And up. Nice job on both sides of the fielding. And one away. Here's Jacob Frank. And pitch high a ball. Yeah, fall off. Yeah, right down the line, fall. And a ball. Had an umpire ducking for cover on that last one. Yeah, fly ball. A fielder comes in, has it for the out. Two up, two down. And Liam McKeel, the batter. Oh. Bottom of the sixth inning. And really since the third has not been much happening here. Pitchers have shut it down a little bit. Fly ball, right fielder has it. And the Ramblers go quietly in the sixth. We go to the seventh. And it's 7-1. The Loyola leading to ball. We'll be back. Selected games from the network are available on YouTube on demand from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Stop the text, stop the Rex. Drive now, text later. It can wait. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the seventh inning of this one. 
Hi ho, hi ho, to the seventh inning we go. And a pitch low and away a ball. Grayson Sanchez leading it off. And foul ball. Jack Gellowitz has gone the distance. And struck out 13 along the way. Or 12, make it. So we're going to miss, strike. And he did go. Strike three. That's number 13. Tyler Sweat, the batter. And a strike. Yeah, fall ball. Or did it get away? I, I was looking elsewhere. Yellowitz delivers. Fall ball. That one I saw. <laughs> and strike three. So two down. And William Herbert, the batter. Takes a pitch low ball. Two out, nobody on. Ramblers trying to finish this one off. Here's a strike on the inside corner. Swing and a miss. Strike. And fall back. Inside a ball. Now it took us almost forty minutes to play three innings. It's taken us 20 minutes right now to go the rest of the way. And William Herbert hanging in there. Drop third strike. Throw to first, and the ball game is all over. Final word on this ball game for the Loyola Ramblers. Seven runs on 13 hits, no errors. They were struck out seven times, walked five, seven left on base, and one stolen base. For the DePaul Rams, one run on two hits, two errors. That was the only inning that they did have hits was that one where they scored the run. Two errors. Jack Yellowitz struck at 15 today, and he did walk one back in the second. And two left on base for DePaul. Phenomenal performance by Elowitz, and for all of us here at the network, hope you enjoyed this broadcast. Stick around for more sports action here on the network. And for all of us, we say as always, thanks for watching, and so long, everybody.